there's buses coming at you, you know, and you have to learn how to weave in and out of people. It's a tool of way, weighing of getting around. Making sure there's a green light in front of you without touching anybody. Every time you go out, it's different. You find something new to tweak and do an air off of. You're just like finding things to jump over. You're looking in the path. You're like, there's a fire hydrant over there. Jump it. Control comes first. Style comes second. I broke my leg two years ago. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I still have uh, two plates and nine pins in my right ankle. Control, you have to know how to use it in your head, how to use this ramp. Whatever s surface you may be skating, you got to learn how to use it quickly. Chris Edwards takes the sport way beyond. He's like five years ahead of anybody. And uh, what he's doing is just extreme skating on any terrain that he can get his feet on, his skates onto. In the air, you know, he'll, he'll go until he, he's looking at the sky so far ahead that he, that's where he wants to be. You know, he wants to go higher, but he doesn't have skates or wheels fast enough to get him higher. <laughs> Sport, yeah. yeah, and, it's and it should be categorized in its own sport. Yeah, you can take other elements of other sports and adapt them into the sport, but it is its own sport. It has it has eight wheels in a line, you know, and you're going to have to figure out how to use those on your feet, you know. Everyone thinks it's a California thing or a New York thing. It's a Minnesota podunk thing. The farmers were doing it. So I'm a Minnesota boy and that's where it started. The rollerblading is, is such a pure like speed. It's so smooth compared to anything else I've done. It's kind of like heading down the hill with two legs. When you get down there so excited you got three. <laughs> the ultimate feeling it's it's a feeling that you capture in your mind body and soul and it it's pure adrenaline rush a thousand miles and running and you got ten thousand million more miles to go